I now have the motherboard taken out of the HP computer. Uh, it doesn't give away who really made this thing. There is a model number on there, M2N68-LA. So maybe that uh, brings up some info if you Google it. And uh, really have to say, uh, it is nice in that um, it has, of course, the AMD processor on there, and I think AMD always does a much, much nicer job of uh, coming up with uh, processor heatsink mounting systems, because this is much, much safer than, uh, for example, what you have in an Intel Core i type. Uh, computer, because uh, I mean, I, I have that in my main computer, and uh, I once actually had the heatsink just it just fell out randomly. So it's all due to some cheap plastic clips they were using. This one has some nice screws, it has this uh, lever thingy here, so that's not going to come out. Same goes for this. Really quite impressed. They did that quite nicely. Other than that, this motherboard is a very basic thing. As you can see, we have two RAM slots instead of four. Uh, that would have been possible. And also, if you look at the connection plate for the back, uh, we do have a VGA output for a monitor. It does have some onboard graphics capabilities. Four USB connections. We do have onboard Ethernet and then just the basic three connections for a non surround sound card. That is, of course, a little uh, Realtek thingy. Chip is located down there on the motherboard, which, by the way, I have sitting on top of an anti static bag for safety. We do have four uh, SATA connections, that ought to be enough. Uh, also, we do have some uh, USB. This does not have USB 3.0, which is, um, oh well, it does have some expansion slots, so you could add that at a later point. Anyway, uh, here we have the RAM. This, um, I don't know, uh, both of these, as I saw, have the HP labels on there, so I think these actually came together because I was kind of confused because I thought I had two four gigabyte sticks, but as it turns out, I have one four and one two gigabyte uh, stick. So uh, they do both have the uh, same kind of, uh, well, I'm not going to say model number, but uh, the same kind of uh, specifications on there. So it ought to work fine, although they were made uh, by two different brands. Uh, we do have the 4 gigabyte stick right here that is made by Samsung. Ugh, don't like Samsung, but there it is. So let's go ahead and uh, pop that into there, like so. And then we have this uh, Hynix uh, stick, which we may or may not be able to see. It's kind of bent, which is uh, weird. So let's release the uh, memory holder. See if we can uh, still fit it into there. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, it's working. Still works. So we now have the motherboard pretty much complete. Processor, of course, is already in place. So let's go ahead and put this into the case. has been put into the case. had a little bit of a problem with one of the rubber standoffs getting into a conflict with the back side of the processor heatsink mounting. That has all been taken care of. I hooked up the uh, LEDs, the front LEDs and power switch. Hope I did that all right. And uh, this thing also has a reset switch, so well, let's just hope that all works. I have not connected the uh, other front connections, the USB 
so far the front audio I believe is not going to fit because this case is just too old probably not going to work